Let us come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so very much for this day. Lord, please uh, guide us throughout this day and throughout this week. Lord, we thank you so much for Easter, for your risen Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Savior. Lord, we praise you. We praise you for all that you have done, for all that you are doing, and for all that you will do. And we praise you most of all for who you are. Father, we ask this morning that not only would you help us to celebrate as we talk about the spiritual discipline of celebration in a few moments, but Lord, we ask that during the sermon you would open our hearts and minds to hear what you would have us hear. We pray also, O oh God, for this world. We know that there are more than 1.6 million cases, 1.7 million cases of the coronavirus confirmed out in the world. And we know that there are all over the world healthcare workers who are uh, just under tremendous stress. We know that there are people in our community who are sick and struggling. And Lord, we pray that you will be with all of these people. Be with frontline workers. Be with the sick of all kinds, not just those who are struggling with COVID-19, but those who are struggling, battling cancer, battling uh, depression, battling uh, any disease, oh God. Lord, we pray that you will be with them. We pray, too, that you will be with our farmers, O oh God, as they get ready for the planting season in not too long. Lord, give them the wisdom and safety that they need. Lord, help them to be able to do uh, what they need to do. We pray for our dairy farmers as, as they, are having to, they are having to be very careful about their milk production and, and you know, not wanting to have to pour out or waste milk. Lord, our systems are not perfect, and you know this. But Lord, we pray for wisdom and for your power in this place. Lord, we pray for the increasing number of unemployed people, both here in, in Ontario and Canada and uh, throughout the world, O oh God. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the intervention of governments here and there and everywhere, uh, trying to make sure that nobody goes under. But we know that governments are not perfect either, nor does our hope rest in them alone. Instead, our hope rests in you. Lord, we pray that you will be with our government leaders, that you will guide them. We pray too that you will be the, with those among us who are shut in, who are either quarantined or self-isolating or who are elderly or who are just not able to get out and about. Lord, we pray that you will be with the lonely. Help them, O oh God. Comfort and strengthen them, we pray. And Father, we pray too that you will be with all of us in our mental health. Lord, if people are feeling cooped up, if people are feeling a little bit cabin, a uh, little bit of cabin fever, if people are feeling depressed or worried or anxious, Lord, please comfort them and strengthen them. Lord, today we pray as well for resonate global missions. Lord, we pray that these offerings that we bring to you for Resonate Global Missions will, will be a pleasing aroma to you, and also that the work of global missions would go on apace. Lord, especially in this time of stress, may the missionaries and workers of Resonate Global Mission help us as Christ followers to spread your good news, and may they also, they themselves, spread the good news effectively in this world. Lord, we pray all of these things 
In Jesus' name, amen. As I mentioned, uh, the offering for today is for Resonate Global Missions, and uh, we would encourage you uh, to, to, yeah, look up their website, Resonate Global Missions. You can find out what they are about, what they are doing in this world, and uh, we, we want to also remind you that there are a variety of ways to give uh, to the offering and to the budget of the church if you desire. Um, you can, of course, g give a, a check. You can mail a check to Clarence Dykema, and you'll find his uh, information in the uh, in the address book. The the yeah, I've lost the word for what that is. The address book for our church uh, directory. That's the word. Uh, you'll find the find Clarence's address in there. Uh, you can also send an e-transfer to uh, Braden McCurlick, our treasurer, at treasurer uh, at athenscrc.org. That is treasurer at athenscrc.org. You can also, if you like, if you don't have it already set up, you can um, set up automatic uh, withdrawal so that the, the money uh, comes automatically out of your bank account uh, every month or every week or uh, whatever uh, the setup is for that. You can talk to uh, Braden McCurlick about that uh, as well. Uh, you can contact him at the email address that I just listed, treasurer at athenscrc.org. 